So this video is basically about the revision of IAS 12 income taxes. This is the another major accounting standard from the perspective of financial and corporate reporting. Now, when we talk about the income taxes over here, as you can see on the screen, that income taxes are basically divided into two types, which is the current tax. Current tax is basically the tax that we pay for the current year. And the other one is the deferred tax. Deferred tax is nothing but an accounting adjustment. Now, the major issue that a student faces in this accounting standard is basically the terminology that we are being using over here because there are certain terms which are not being used on a frequent basis. For example, in the case of income taxes, there's a huge difference between the accounting profit and taxable profit because taxable profit is based on the calculations of the tax authorities, whereas the accounting profit is based on the accounting standard. So current tax is calculated by multiplying the taxable profit with the tax rate, whereas the deferred tax is calculated by multiplying the temporary difference with the tax rate. Now, when we talk about the current tax, it is possible that the provision that we are creating can be sometimes more than what we have actually paid, or sometimes it can be less than the what we have paid. So if you are having a debit balance in the trial balance then it creates an under provision which means that you have created a less provision this year in the previous year as compared to what you have paid as in and if it is a credit balance then it means that it was an over provision which means that more amount of tax was provided than actually was paid but the main discussion in this accounting standard is basically the discussion on deferred tax so the approach that we use for the deferred tax is a liability approach now what exactly is a deferred tax so as i said the accounting rules and the tax rules can be different so the way a sim uh, the way a particular thing is being treated in the tax calculations and in the accounting calculations can be different and it might create some differences and due to that differences we might have different amount of taxes in our books and the tax authorities and this accounting adjustment is basically known as the deferred tax. So the approach that we are using is the liability approach and within the liability approach as well, we have two approaches, which is the balance sheet approach and the income statement approach. So in the balance sheet approach, we are comparing the book value or the carrying amount of the assets or of the liabilities with their tax basis. Now, what is a tax base? Tax base is the carrying amount of the same asset or liability, but calculated from the tax perspective. So you can call it as a tax written down value or tax value. And the differences between the carrying amount and the tax basis is known as the temporary difference. Whereas the same differences from the income statement approach, which is the difference between the accounting profit and the taxable profit is known as the timing differences. But we are going to focus more on the balance sheet approach and we will be moving forward from the perspective of the balance sheet approach in your course so we will be focusing on the carrying amount of the assets and the liability and the tax base of the assets and liabilities now when we move forward we can have a look over here that the temporary difference can be of two types taxable differences which are going to lead to the deferred tax liability and deductible differences which are going to lead to the deferred tax asset now the question is how do i know that whether the difference is a taxable difference or the difference is a deductible difference because that is what is going to determine whether the deferred tax is a liability or a deferred tax is an asset so you have to work in stages and you have to work in steps over here so so the first thing that we have to do over here is we have to identify that what particular item are we looking at whether it is an asset or it is a liability so for example as you can see on the screen that if it is an asset it can be a machine it can be any other non-current asset or a current asset or it can be any of the liability so in the case of the asset if the carrying amount of the asset is greater than the tax base then this is going to be leading towards a deferred tax liability. But for the same asset, if the carrying amount is less than the tax base, then it is going to defer, then it is going to create a deferred tax asset. Whereas the liabilities are concerned, it is going to be totally opposite of the asset. If the carrying amount is less than the tax base of the liabilities, it is going to be a deferred tax liability. 
and vice versa it will be defertex acid so basically in a nutshell we can say this thing that the more the asset value the more the defer tax liability the less the de asset value the less the defer tax liability or, or the creation of defer tax asset but you have to be careful about creating a defer tax asset because there will be many differences which will be creating defer tax asset and liability but in the case of defer tax asset you are only allowed to record the defer tax asset up to the extent you feel there will be enough defer enough taxable profits in the future against which these tax assets can be utilized if there are no enough tax assets in uh, no enough taxable profits in the future then these tax assets will not be allowed to be recognized in your financial statements now how do we prove this thing so it's very simple over here a simple example can be taken which you can observe so in this example as you can see that the cost of the asset is $2000 accounting depreciation is based on 5 years straight line method tax depreciation is based on four years straight line method and the tax rate is so the tax rate is 10 percent now having the calculation over here i can see that the net book value from the accounting perspective is 1600 and from the tax authorities the tax base is 1500 which is creating a difference of 100 so when i multiply this temporary difference of 100 with the rate of 10 percent the defer tax liability is going to be $10. Why? Because the tax base is less than the carrying amount and carrying amount is greater. Now, how do I prove it with the income statement approach? So you can have a look, assuming that my gross profit is the same. Depreciation from accounting is 400, but from tax is 500, which is giving me profit before tax of 600 for accounting, 500 for tax respectively. So Applying the tax accounting tax should be 60 but the tax that i have actually paid is 50 based on the taxable profit which means that this is again creating a difference of 10 and since i have paid less amount of tax this is going to create a deferred tax liability and that's the logic behind it so there will be many differences that will be arising because of the revaluation because of the group accounting because of the share based payment which are going to create all these temporary differences but please keep in your mind that the defer tax will only be created on the temporary differences and there will be no defer tax on the permanent difference. Okay, so that's what we have from the short review of the income taxes IAS 12. Thank you.